Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out Onslaught Nuketown. And I knew this was going to happen. I knew PlayStation was going to get the exclusive rights to Nuketown Zombies. Now, that doesn't mean the Zombies regular mode won't get a Nuketown later. But as of right now, PlayStation exclusive for Nuketown Zombies. If you don't have a PlayStation, you can't play Zombies on Nuketown. So, that is just as simple as it is. If you get 7 Onslaught Chalices, which is going to cost you at least 3 games worth of time. Um, then you get a Type 83, I think it's called, or Type 63, something along the lines of that. I can't remember the weapon name. Blueprint right there, which I will have a video on once we earn that. But guys, we're just going to hop right into it. Let's just search for a random. Let's get into it. We got Ring of Fire on. We are ready to go to play some Newtown Zombies. I'm excited. Now, the Onslaught mode isn't a great mode. But at the end of the day, you still get to play on every single multiplayer map in the game, which is an interesting experience, to say the least. So, I'm excited to bring you guys the first look at Nuketown Zombies, PlayStation exclusive. Then we're going to have some online gameplay later. Probably just Nuketown content the rest of the day, to be honest with you. We're going to hop in custom games and see if there's an Easter egg. I've heard that there is, so we're going to do that. And then we'll do some multiplayer gameplay, which is going to be great. I'm going to do my first game ever on Nuketown as a recording. Just get that pure nostalgia in this video on the multiplayer. And then we're going to be leveling up weapons literally all day, all week. There's going to be six days worth of double XP. It's going to be fantastic. You guys can see the double XP counters down there. Weapon and regular XP. So if you guys are watching this as, you know, the first week or so it's been out and recorded, uh, make sure you guys are hopping on and getting some of that double XP. But we're hopping into it, man. Nuketown84. It's going to be the first time I've actually played on the map. I haven't played any multiplayer, no custom games. Now, I did see a video of it online where it was just like early gameplay. So, I did get a nice little look at it. But, guys, I am excited. Here we go. We got TCM Savage in the lobby with us. Shout out my boy. No idea who he is, but joining us here today for our first look at Nuketown 84 Zombies. I'm ready. Now, you guys are going to probably be a little underwhelmed. It's not super great when it comes to the Onslaught mode. But um, I'm just I'm just happy to play Zombies on Nuketown, to be honest with you. Sweep the, breach, strike team. You're clear to engage all hostiles. the first zombie of Nuketown has been eliminated. Let's kind of just run around. We'll let, we'll let our teammate do some of the work. Let me turn my volume down so we don't get any layering for you guys. Not sure what my man is trying to do. Find a glitch spot or something. Wow, man. Just look at... Dude, I'm so excited to play multiplayer on this map. It's just going to make the time fly. You know, sometimes when you're having a bad day on Cold War, it's kind of like, meh. You know, you don't really want to play some of the maps, but you're forced to. I'm really hoping that they have a Nuketown-specific playlist. Considering they do for zombies, I would assume that they do for multiplayer as well. I'm super excited, man. I wanted to check the sight line here. Yes, sir. Right into the spawn. Oh, Treyarch, you're making me a happy boy, man. Happy, happy. Yes, sir. Oh, this is great. I right, got the first surge done. We'll get some elite kills coming up soon. Follow the orb. It's your only protection from the lethal phase. But like I said, you know, <laughs> the mode isn't like the greatest mode of all time. Because it's kind of slow at the beginning. And then it gets to a point where... You really just have to grind it out if you don't have Ring of Fire. Now, obviously, I have Ring of Fire on, so it's going to be a little bit easier in the latter rounds for a bit. My guy's trying to level his knife up, but, you know, I'm trying to level his spaz up. Yeah, you're working. You get on the bus? Nah. Yo, I don't think my guy's got a single kill yet. He has seven kills. Uh, we'll let him get that one. We're going to get our first elite for Nuketown very soon. First ever. Don't have Ring of Fire yet, but we should probably take him right out. On this guy, 
Wait, why did I not YY? Oh, I just got sold, dude. I tried to YY. Hey, hey, guy. Are we, are we being serious? Why, why he wait that long? I'm a little confused. Y'all didn't see that though. Just rookie mistakes. Rookie mistakes. That all. That's all it is. And the fact that it wouldn't let me. Wow. That man came rushing in here. If you guys have never seen the onslaught mode, basically you just do three rounds, you kill elites, and I mean it's it's pretty much that. You just get new weapons every time you kill an elite. They go up in value. Uh, you know, you get a couple greens and you get a couple blues, and you basically only get purples after that. Becomes near impossible to get kills on the elites in like, you know, when you're on to ten elites without ring of fire, obviously. Dude, this map is just look at it. It's so nice. So beautiful. I wanted to see if I can see it back here, but I think it's on the other side. Yeah, it's on it's on the yellow side. But um there's like Mountain Dew cans, which is super cool. And I saw in the campaign when playing they have like Fila stuff as well. So seeing some like main brands get a partnership with COD, and that's that's always great to see. The Mountain Dew one to me made a lot of sense, but seeing Fila in there was just, it caught me completely off guard. And you see it multiple times in the campaign too, which is super sick. There's a couple scenes where the character Adler wears Fila shirt, and then there's advertising like in one of the trains on one of the maps, and it was just everywhere. It was really really cool to see. So if we go towards the back of the map back there, I will show you guys. See where the orbs head next. We won't go too long here on the onslaught mode because I do want to get some multiplayer in, but we will definitely, you know, keep going for a bit. Max 20 more minutes. Nothing crazy. Give you guys a nice look at the zombies mode. That we have access to right now. Who knows what we get in the future, obviously. That dude just got domed. Homie's just like, I'm gonna go AFK because he's doing everything. We like that. We appreciate that. Keeps the viewers happy. That's gonna do it, but we'll kill him. Yes, sir. We're heading towards the back. Okay, we're gonna get an elite spawn right here. Please. Wrap that one up nice and quick. A better spaz, but with no attachments. Hmm. That's a tough call, to be honest with you. We can sit on it. Nah, I kind of already regret it. Nah, we'll be fine. <laughs> oh, man. Indecisiveness.
another zombie. Be careful. You're in the face. These zombies never stood a chance. Homie's like, I'm just trying to get the blueprint, brother. You keep doing you. <laughs> Fine by me. We're just running through them right now with the Spaz 12. We like that. Let's see if we head towards the back a little. Maybe. Here we go. Let's go up top. Yeah, so we should be able to see. Yeah, right here. You guys can see the Mountain Dew cans. I think it's super cool, man. I think it's just a really dope addition. This guy's literally putting no effort in. I appreciate you. Level 29. Head up top. Oh, he jumping out the window. Bro, we are just flying. It's amazing. It feels great. I cannot wait to play this on multiplayer, man. Just a super close quarters nostalgic greatness. Oh, I'm ready. We're going to wait for our teammate to go down. And then we'll just throw the game. Because, honestly, past this point, once we get our first chalice here... I don't really need to keep playing. I'd rather play multiplayer for a little bit. Get that blueprint later tonight. Do a review on it by tomorrow. And we'll be good to go. Another elite coming through. See you later. Like I said, man, it's super easy. Especially if you get a full power right after it. That's just crazy. I'll take that. I'll make it work. We still rocking with the uh the base the base weapon. I think we'll use that AUG a little bit. Take him out a bit quicker. I don't think my friend's experience here is very pleasurable. But it was his choice to use a knife. Not mine. one for you zombies getting a little bit faster now but i mean almost 15 minutes into the recording it's about time they get a little harder sorry friend it's a cutthroat world and we're living in it and our boys got to level up his weapons Oh, we whiffed. I need to get a little bit harder now. I wonder, can you hop the fence? No? No. Oh, 
Yo, we jacked that man's kill. Incredibly hard. Oh. Thank you for playing. See you at the menu. Zombie. Just gonna keep spawning there. I'm rocking with it. We should have another elite round. This one should be pretty easy. I don't know what I'd do without Ring of Fire on this, man. It would be so, like, long and grueling. But with it, it's just... They go quicker than the regular rounds. It's so nice. Oh, yeah, we should probably check, like, what weapons we got. Oh, yeah. I'll take that this time. Only as good as the guy holding it. Perkin looking. It'll do slightly more damage. I think. Not really. We got a sentry gun. Alright, so what I'm going to do is skip to a couple of elite rounds for you guys. Just edit it out um, because it's just pretty slow. Or if it starts getting crazy, I'll keep that in. But as of right now, it doesn't seem to be. So uh, I'll play for a little bit longer. Try to get up to the eight elites, which is a gold. And then after that, there's literally no point in playing. Uh, as far as I know, I mean, I don't know if there's like a platinum chalice or anything. I just quit after 10 the first time that I got that far. So uh, yeah. We'll skip to the elite rounds and um, see if it gets any harder. Wait, why did he not split right away? Yo, he didn't split. Oh, no. dude, he did not split right away, and it screwed me. That's fine. There you go. Sentry gun. What about it? Light him up. power yeah we'll take that thank you very much no come back no all right we got him there's five elites down oh you get a challenge for doing it on nuketown too that's cool Another elite round coming up. 
These are going pretty quick. I've only been recording for 25 minutes. Obviously going to be less for you guys, but... They're honestly going really quick. Let's see if I can just... Cheese the Megaton real quick. Uh, see, I kind of want to throw. So I can play multiplayer, but I won't. I'm a good teammate. He ain't getting picked up though. Alright, so if you guys have never played the zombies for onslaught let me show you why it's so tough i mean this guy wasn't killing everything but just look at this like it feels like you're on like round 25 using a regular green gun which it's basically i mean it's basically wave 19 or round 19 but you guys can just see man i'm doing no damage it's not like you get to pick what weapon you get from the elite so Kind of sucks, but easy to grind through. All right, another elite round coming up. We'll pop the war machine for this megaton. Oh, we got mad streaks. Definitely getting tougher right about here, so this is where I think we'll pick up permanently. And uh, we'll just play it out from here until we get the gold. But uh, I got a purple bullfrog here, and we are definitely uh, experiencing a bit of hungriness out of the bodies of the zombies. Because they are eating. I feel like some of those should be. Oh, this ain't good. Yeah, so this is where it starts getting crazy right about here. Where it's just extremely tough. There we go. That guy was being stubborn. Need some of his ammo. There we go. So we should have one more surge, and then we'll get a... Actually, maybe not. Maybe we need two more. And then we'll have an elite. And after that elite, we should get gold. For our chalice. And then we could uh, reset from that point on. Come on now. It's a pretty long reload for Speed Cole, if I gotta be honest with you. Here's one other problem you you honestly start to really see in the high rounds if you don't have Ring of Fire is you run out of ammo so quick. You gotta remember to save ammo for your Ring of Fire, so it's kind of like, eh. All right. 
right, going to the next round. Just waiting for him to despawn. There we go. Oh, we're getting an elite. See, here's the thing. We are going to need to take this guy out without Ring of Fire. Because the Megaton splits are so much worse. solid damage on the Megaton. We should be able to bring it down here. Yes, sir. Megaton down. The max hammer in the middle might help him. Doubt it, but... Oh, we're dead. Ring of Fire did not do much there. Only had like a shotgun or something. Kill. Nope. This should do it. It should get us gold. Chalice. I don't think there's like a platinum or anything, so that's pretty much it, man. As far as I know. So, with that being said, we are going to sell our teammate, and we are going to head out of the match. So, I'll include that. Why not? Let's sell on this guy. Lead him right to him. There it is. Come on. Why are they still chasing me? That's so weird. I gotta see this. Oh, he's selling me. That was funny. Oh, he's not living all those hounds, bro. There's no way. My guy's got stamina up for sure. Look at that, man. Oh, my God. I just saw a meme recently of, like, a guy running away from, like, 40 hounds. Oh, there it is. GG's, my friends. GG's. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video, man. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, man. I'm going to have more Nuketown content here today. We are going to be doing the multiplayer map. We're going to see if there's an Easter egg on We're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. So, i got to edit this video down. Currently at 41 minutes long. We'll see what I can get it down to for you guys because those earlier rounds were a bit slower. But I wanted to kind of show you the ropes of how Onslaught works for anybody who didn't know but that's gonna do it guys thank you so much for watching here today make sure you leave that like subscribe for new sponsors equipment description below that's all i got thank you so much for watching i'm out